Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. For today's video, we're gonna be in Buffalo, New York, at a place called Churn, which is an ice cream place specializing in like not like super legitimate, clean, clean ice cream. No fillers, using fresh local ingredients. Um, super, super cool. What we're doing today is actually an ice cream sandwich challenge. So I've never done an ice cream sandwich challenge before, and this thing is huge. So I've seen a photo, and they just stack these things up, like super, super, super hot. It is 12 different sandwiches. They have a whole bunch of different flavors, but I think it's like maybe three, 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 or something like that. Nonetheless, like I said, 12 stacked ice cream sandwiches. It is going to be huge. It's going to be intense. We do have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. Um, and that is in order to get the meal for free. And if we fail, I believe it's about 50 bucks. Um, so anyway, let's see what we can do. Should be a lot of fun. Like I said, good time of year to eat ice cream. <laughs> There's a lot of times in Buffalo you might shy away from it a little bit. <laughs> However, you can't go wrong with, I, honestly, I, I mean, I eat ice cream year-round. I'll put it that way. But especially a good time, um, you know, during this warm season. They have a patio and all that stuff. But anyway, let's go eat some food, we'll eat some ice cream, some ice cream sandwiches, and that's about that. So let's get eating. Let's go. Hi everyone. So like I said, giant giant ice cream. Here we go. It is monster, to say the least. Um, I'm gonna start probably by like taking a couple of these off. Um, but for the flavors, I have the uh, strawberry lemonade. We have the chocolate chip vanilla. I have the ginger snap, or you know, kind of coconut one, which looks and sounds delicious. It's actually vegan. Uh, then we have the peanut butter chocolate one, which is right here, somewhere right here. Chocolate ice cream, peanut butter cookie, looks delicious. And then the oatmeal vanilla. So that's about that, guys. So like you said, 12 cookies, it's definitely a lot. Um, but at that, let's pretty much get started, get rocking and rolling. I'll probably start with um, maybe this one here, which will be uh, oatmeal, chocolate chip, vanilla. So how about we get rocking? We'll say pretty much right now. Mm. Oh my God. That ice cream. Wow. Guys, that is so good. Honestly, that's one of the best tasting soft serves ever. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we're here at Churn, taking on this giant ice cream sandwich challenge. And let me just start by saying, seriously, this is probably the best tasting vanilla soft serve like I've ever tried. I don't even want to call it soft serve. It was just so amazing. Bold though, obviously. I know they make like their ice cream 100% there, like it's using their own base, etc. Like it is theirs. It is 100% their own ice cream. And whatever they did to it, man, it was so, so good. I love a vanilla ice cream. I love a vanilla soft serve. And, you know, although people stereotype, oh, vanilla is vanilla, no, it is not. When you have something like this, it just shines so bright. Chocolate peanut butter. That is delicious. Some of these are a little firmer than others. You can try to spread them out. And the cool thing about the ice cream sandwiches is I got to try a variety of ice creams, but also a variety of different cookies and flavor combinations, you know, such as like coconut and ginger, which was super unique. Some more traditional ones. I mean, you know, chocolate chips and vanilla, like that's pretty standard, but then also like even having like a lemonade with strawberry, which is really unique because it's seasonal. So because it was strawberry season, they made kind of the strawberry lemonade, which I mean, hey, hopefully we'll get to try it because that is a unique cookie, that is for sure. Um, so like we said, we did have 12. 
um, definitely large, large sizable sandwiches. Uh, some were a little more frozen than others, just like the way they were stacked, I guess. So some were easier to eat than others. But as they, you know, kind of warmed up a little bit, the flavors really started to shine. And oh my gosh, guys, like I said, this was just so enjoyable. And I really wasn't sure what it was going to be like. I mean, ice cream sandwiches are great, don't get me wrong. But eating 12 of them, well, I wasn't sure. This is a lot of ice cream. I didn't realize how many uh, cookies there was here. But after I started diving into these, like, not that I would recommend you eating 12 or, you know, a big stack of them. But man, I was so enjoying it. Absolutely in heaven. Great, great, great items. Um, so the ice cream sandwiches and uh, are actually available not just at the store, but I believe they're available in some of like the local uh, grocery stores, which is pretty cool. Um, whereas again, if you want like the actual soft serve, of course you got to come to the location, um, Churn, which I would definitely recommend. It's in a super cool um, part of Buffalo too. Uh, it was in an area I was never really there or like in before but it was super kind of modern super hip um it was pretty close to the buffalo zoo if i remember correctly and uh yeah like i said really cool area of buffalo i love buffalo as a city it has a great pride the people are really friendly and uh i got no complaints about that try to chop the chip mm. oh, that is good Real nice sweetness. That's a big cookie though. About four and a half minutes in. So as we mentioned, we we're in the quest for the free meal, uh, which is approximately about 50 bucks. Uh, that being said, uh, we were hoping to complete that. And of course, enjoy some, I don't know if I guess we'll say dessert or a food challenge or breakfast lunch dinner i don't know this was all the above we'll put it that way this was a lot of food um, but ultimately i believe that's pretty much all the information i have for you like i said some super amazing amazing ice cream um, you know focus on a local focus on you know kind of making their own scratch thingy thing got going it's actually a really good cookie too i know they're gonna make local and at that let me know your favorite kind of ice cream down below you know, it is such a hard thing because there's so many different ice creams, but I honestly might say vanilla. Like I said, especially when you have a vanilla like this one here. But I also do love birthday cake and I love a lot of different flavors. But like I said, let me know your favorite flavor of ice cream down below. And at that, ultimately, let's tune on in and see if we can complete this big, big, big ice cream sandwich challenge. So ultimately, let's see what happens. Yeah. Try the coconut? Oh man, that may be my favorite. Very coconut flavor. Also a strong ginger in that ginger shot. I put on some sleeves because it's a little cold eating all this ice cream. Very good though, but a little cold. Alright guys, making our way through, got the uh, strawberry lemonade, this one seems pretty firm, but we'll give it a shot, sugar little cookie, or uh, a sugar cookie I guess, almond, wow, Woo. talk about strawberry. That's a very real tasting strawberry. 
really good. I'm impressed. Woo! No shortage, everybody. A lot of ice cream sandwiches. Five left. About 10 minutes in. Coconut. I might have to go sit on that awesome looking patio in a minute. Cold, everybody. So very, very good. I think my favorite is probably the oatmeal vanilla. Super simple, but super delicious. I don't think these are sugar free, but they're dang good. Extra horsepower, everybody. Oh man. It's good, but wow. It's a lot. One thing I will say, as they soften up, it's actually getting better and better, getting more flavor out of it. Very, very good. Great cookie, great ice cream. That oatmeal is the best. Last one, everybody. My memory card is about to time out. I forgot to change it, but should have just enough to finish. Woo! We are done. Woo. Oh man. That was a lot of ice cream. So, I'm gonna wait for this memory card's gonna time out and I'll give you an outro. So everybody, it was an absolutely awesome experience. I thoroughly enjoyed the ice cream, thoroughly enjoyed the sandwiches. Um, I would definitely recommend stopping and buying, grab some of these. Or like I said, if you're in the Buffalo area, I think some of the local retailers and grocery stores actually carry them. Um, I do would say my favorite was just the straight up oatmeal and vanilla. 
it was just like so simple but so good so basic i love an oatmeal cookie or oatmeal chocolate chip cookie you know you get those deep notes of cinnamon you get the nice texture the extra kind of chewiness of that oatmeal oh man i just i want one just thinking about it right now um ultimately i really also enjoyed the uh, coconut ice cream uh, i would love to just like have a cone of that it is a, that's actually a vegan one surprisingly um, but yeah, everything was great. Long story short, so we did get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. Um, huge challenge. Definitely recommend trying a sandwich. Don't try 12. Just don't do it. And or stop by and try their ice cream because I thoroughly enjoyed it and I can't wait to go back. Um, but everyone, huge thanks to all the staff. They were really accommodating, really friendly. If you liked the video, please feel free to hit that like button, consider subscribing, and comment down below. It does help the success and the algorithm of the video. So, at that everyone, hope you have a lovely day. I appreciate you. Thanks to Churn and at that, happy eating. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.